special light angel here, and I'm bringing you some life wisdom. Just giving it to you from my heart to yours. So if you like what you see today, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to hear more, I will be uploading more videos. Hit that subscribe button and ping that little bell. And now, for today's topic. Hello, beautiful. I hope you're having a fabulous day as we delve in today on my top tips for actually exerting your boundaries and how you can do that. So let's just dive right in. Um, so there's a few things when it comes to exerting your boundaries that you really want to keep at the top of your mind as a focal point because it's going to feel difficult when you're new at actually exerting your boundaries. You feel mean, you feel like you might be disappointing people, you feel like you're letting people down, and what you need to remember is that this is about taking care of you and the energy that you have to give so that you can be available when you actually want to be available and you can have the energy to give when you want or need to have that because you have valued yourself enough to have a boundary to lay it down and be firm with that. So number one, um, you want to really be firm when it comes to setting your boundaries and it's the practicing getting past the feelings of guilt that you need to do more. There's a few things that help you be firm instead of being wishy-washy. We'll do a do's and don'ts list. Don't apologize whenever you're having to exert a boundary. Apologies really make you have that wishy-washy, mm, I don't know, I'm sorry, but uh, that's not the best way to exert a boundary. It makes it sound like you're willing to go back on that boundary and that you're not being firm with the boundary for yourself. So instead, a way to combat the sorry is to thank the person. Um, having gratitude for whatever it is that you're laying your boundary down. Thank you for respecting my time. Instead of, I'm sorry I don't have the time. Or thank you for being aware and acknowledging that I need my space. Instead of, I'm sorry, I need my space. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, don't feel bad. It's, it's, it's going to happen. But I'm telling you, you don't have to feel bad because you're laying a boundary down and that person may or may not be receiving it in a way that is satisfactory. You can offer an alternative. So let's say somebody invites you to go out with them and do something, but you already are booked up or you don't have the time or you know maybe you're going to be tired because you worked a lot and you already have a lot on your plate. Maybe you want that time to yourself that evening. So instead of just saying no or not saying I'm sorry, I can't do it, you could offer an alternative. I'm not available on Thursday night, but I am available on Saturday if you have time then. So giving an alternative to whatever the question is, and it could be anything, even if someone's asking a favor of you, if you have some type of an alternative, that's totally okay. Don't feel bad, but do have an alternative for them. And uh, don't lie. That's the number one thing that you do not want to do is to tell a lie. Instead, just be honest with the person. Hopefully, if they're actually somebody that is good to you or good for you in your life, they're going to have an understanding because lo and behold, they're human too. And they have a life and they have hopefully um, understood that they have limits as well and can respect the fact that you have a certain amount of limits and there's no need to lie about that. If you have to, or if you feel like you have to lie to somebody, mm, I don't know if that's 
maybe the person that you need to have in your life. It's something to evaluate. And then maybe even ask yourself why you feel the need to lie to this person instead of just being honest. Personally, I'm one of my highest values is honesty. So if somebody lies to me, then, and, and especially if it's something piddly, if you don't want to go out when I'm asking you to go out, say no. It's really that simple. Um, instead of making up some silly little white lie that it wasn't true and maybe didn't mean anything to you. So I've noticed a lot of people like to be people pleasers and when we're exerting our boundaries, it is not about people pleasing. It is about, again, protecting you and your energy and what you need. So you do have a few basic rights when it comes to exerting your boundaries. And these are like basic rights for everyone. So you have the right to say no without feeling guilty. That's right. I'm going to say that one again. You have the right to say no without feeling guilty. It's okay. You have the right to be treated with respect. If someone's not respecting you, you have the right to let them know they're not respecting you because you absolutely, you absolutely deserve that. You have the right to make your needs as important as others' needs. So um, if you're a giver and you enjoy helping people and often put people's needs in front of yours, just remind yourself that you actually do have that right. My needs are as important as the next person's needs. Your needs are important. I just want you to know that. And you have the right to be accepting of your own mistakes and failures or others' mistakes and failures. It's going to happen. It's part of life. I'm a recovering perfectionist. I understand how hard it can be sometimes to be accepting of our own mistakes and failures. But that's part of life, and that's part of growing, and it's part of learning, and you gain so much from that. You also have the right not to meet other people's unreasonable expectations of you. Unreasonable. Not, not just expectations, but some people will have unreasonable expectations, and you do not have to meet it. You meet your own expectations, if that's what you have. So those are just some basic rights when it comes to laying down your boundaries that you can help remember and remind yourself as you're going through this process. That's another thing to remember. All of this is a process. When you're practicing exerting your boundaries, you're not going to wake up tomorrow because you watch this video on exerting boundaries and be top-notch expert in doing it. You actually have to put it to practice. You have to learn how to say no and practice saying no to people that you're comfortable with and uncomfortable with. And eventually you'll get to the point where you're saying no for yourself and it feels really good because you're gaining a sense of independence and self-worth that you may not have had before. Saying no helps you to boost your self-esteem. Saying no helps you to conserve your emotional energy. So, one really important thing when it comes to exerting boundaries is you're not responsible for the way the other person reacts. And that's really important because we tend to hold on to responsibility or feel that because someone else reacted a certain way in response to a boundary that we set, it, it'll make us feel emotional, make us feel guilty or bad that maybe we exerted that boundary. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have, it would have just been easier, right? If I just went along with what this other person wanted. But that's not actually protecting you. And that doesn't have your own energy conservation in mind. So I'm going to say that one more time. You are not responsible for the way the other person responds when you lay down a boundary. You are only responsible for your own emotions and your own feelings. And you are responsible for making sure that you take care of that 
so that you have the time and energy to exert where you are able to. Whenever you are telling somebody no or laying a boundary down, you are actually giving yourself the opportunity to say yes in another area of your life. Yes to something you want to do. Yes to what you want. Yes to an opportunity that's coming your way. Yes to alone time. Yes to feeling better. Yes to sleep. Whatever it is that you're saying no in one way, you're saying yes in another way. Keep this in a forefront of your mind and it can really help. Another thing that you can do when exerting yourself and um, putting your boundaries down is having patience and compassion for yourself. And you'll have compassion in the areas you want to be hard on yourself because it feels uncomfortable and it feels maybe like you're giving yourself a guilt trip. It's not your top of everything and that's okay. Be compassionate with yourself when you go through this. Be patient with yourself when you maybe said yes like you're used to when you wanted to say no. Next time. Or it's never too late. Maybe you did say yes. You can still back out. It's okay. Just contact and communicate with the person and let them know. Communication is key when it comes to anything. I personally believe it's more important to actually communicate to a person the truth and the honesty and let them know than it is to lead them on into believing something and then resenting them later. So when you're doing things you don't want to do, you get resentment. When you do things that you do want to do, you feel more alive. You feel more, more passion and you just feel in general better overall. So for top tips of boundaries, you're going to be firm and remind yourself about all of the ways that this is actually benefiting you and your not responsible for the other person's feelings and you're having patience and you're having compassion with yourself and that in turn is going to help you feel better and take care of yourself laying down your boundaries is one of the amazing ways that you can practice self-care and feel better about it the more you do it the better you get so go out there Start practicing your boundaries, lay them down, feel better for yourself. If this is something you're working on, let me know. If you are practicing laying boundaries, let's talk about it in the comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I'd love to chit chat with you there. So um, let me know. Anyway, that's what we got for today. May you do well in exerting your boundaries and practicing and get better and better every day so that you can take care of you, conserving your energy, and eventually and just continuing to be the best version of you and feeling more alive and passionate. May you have a fantastic day. Hmm. Namaste. Namaste.